Hey guys, what's up? It's Coffee Nut Gamer, bringing you some D The Division gameplay from Ubisoft. And today we're doing a little bit of an Intel scavenger hunt, as I'd call it. So we'll start off, I'm going to go get this Echo here. Tell you a little bit about what I plan to be doing with this channel uh, while you watch this gameplay. First off, let me say... The first time I ever played The Division was on the PlayStation 4. Now, I primarily am an Xbox player, now on the Xbox One X. Um, and I got to max level. I loved it. I mean, I thought it was a fun game. But then, you know, got to max level, tapered off. I'm not like a hardcore PvP guy. So eventually, it just sort of like, okay, okay, I was done. I didn't get the expansion pass. Well, fast forward to today, that 1.8 update, it, I'm not even at that new content yet, but it intrigued me enough. I went ahead and bought the Gold Edition. It was on sale. Well, when you're watching this video, it was on sale, at least, for $30. So I have all the expansions, all that, plus the new update that just came out, and I'm in love with the game again. It's You're probably going to be seeing a lot of gameplay of this game, particularly. There are other games I like to play. Um, shout out to Civilization Revolution. You guys might see some of that. In fact, if... Well, we'll get... I'll talk about that at the end, but... Anyways. So, yeah, I'm back on The Division, and I'm loving it. Uh, particularly, I can't... So, Microsoft, you know, with the One X, they have their Enhanced Games page, where they talk about, like, what games are going to be uh, enhancing, or what companies are working on their enhancements for their games, you know, for the 4K update, HDR, or whatever. Apparently Ubisoft, it says on that chart that the division is in development, so I'm waiting on that. That's going to be awesome. I mean, it obviously already looks pretty good, but when that enhancement update comes out, that's going to be really nice. And currently, I actually don't game on a TV. I don't like to. It's my own personal preference. I'm more of a because I grew up playing PCs, but I'm more of a monitor guy. I like to sit, you know, one, two feet away, sort of up close and personal. I just like the whole desk sitting in my chair monitor. Twenty. I have a, tw I have a 28 inch Samsung UH750 4K monitor. Um, it's actually their brand new one this year, 2017. It has quantum dot technology. It's like the lighting technology in the panel. It has a one MS response time. It actually even has AMD FreeSync. I have it on. I don't really even know if my Xbox is utilizing that, and, but I have it on, so whatever. But uh, the game, like, I do have Destiny 2, and I got the 4K patch. I mean, that looks it looks amazing on the monitor. It doesn't have HDR, but most HDR monitors are... There's, I think there's only, like, one or two on the market, maybe. There's the Dell. There's a Dell one that's, like, 1600 I was like, okay, I don't need it that bad. I've been gaming my whole life without HDR, so... Go grab this green coated backpack. Okay. I love the division. I love. Uh, I think it's the setting. It's just the whole, you know, New York City. It's just all dilapidated. Everyone's, you know, it's just gone to hell. And I love the customization. You know, when you get an item, it's just so fun. Like, oh, I got my. Green beanie. Let me put on my green beanie. I don't know. There's something about the customization aspect of it all. Hey, what's up? What are you doing up there? And okay, keep moving. But yeah, so I game on a monitor. Uh, the Samsung monitor. It's really freaking awesome. Let me know what you guys. Do you guys like to play on monitors like me, or do you like to game on your huge 70-inch HDR OLED screen? kick back you know a lot of people i know you guys out there like to kick back on the couch i like to do that when i'm watching movie but for some reason when i game i like to just be it's just a little spatial aspect of my desk monitor in front of me it's like the perfect size for me for my vision and all that so. i can't tell you how refreshing that is I've got to go now. I got some last minute Christmas shopping to do, but don't worry. I've got to go now. You'll see a lot more, see of, me a lot more of me soon. Remember how oh, I used that to doesn't sound keep us apart? Oh, weird at all. I ran into your boyfriend. 
I ran into your boyfriend. He says hi. Peace. <laughs> nice. That's another aspect I love about the division and just the whole kind of like lore. Like that's why I decided I made my first video this Intel scavenger hunt, as I call it. It's cool to pick up these little lore pieces, these videotapes that are just strewn about the city. The echoes. I love how they did the echoes. Those are really cool. Let's go grab this one over here. Let me know what you guys think about The Division. <clears throat> Do you guys play it? Do you like it? Did you used to play it? In the 1.8 update, oh, grab me back. I haven't even seen the new content. I haven't even seen the expansion content. Like I said, I played it till about max level, and I was done with it before the expansion pass. And then I was back on Sony's PS4, but yeah, I'm, I don't know. There's something about this time I'm really feeling it. So, and I mean, it already pulled me away from Destiny 2, and I haven't bought the expansion for Destiny 2, but I like Destiny 2. It's fun, but. I, don't, I, I think it's I just this contemporary steak. setting, That's all you got? All the dreams which actually is ironic because it's kind of, well, it was one of the big steak. arguments when this game first came out about how, you know, since it's an RPG, it takes like five clips, <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but for real, like maybe one or two clips to take down like shielded enemies. Apparently there's enemies that have like magical shields and you have to pump like two whole magazines into them to drop them. And yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense in a contemporary setting, but what can you do? It's a fun game, and I play fun games, so. Let's make our way, get this phone recording. As you can see, I'm level 10. Are you serious? Why? I just love the setting, the graphics are good. I can't wait for the 4K update for this game. It's gonna be good. Oh yes, I will open and get three tools. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, what we got going on here? Let's free this little boy right here. Oh, oh. Pop up, pop up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Um, so I do want to say, yeah, talk a little bit more about my channel and what I'm going to be offering. So one, I'm going to be doing Let's Plays. And for the foreseeable future, at least for now, this is probably going to be one of my main Let's Play games. So expect, you know, if you want to watch Division gameplay on Xbox One X specifically, then this is going to be the channel for you. So feel free to subscribe if you want to continue watching me or whatnot. Uh, there will be other Let's Plays, other games. Like I said, I also enjoy Civilization Revolution. If you want to see a gameplay of that, go ahead and comment and let me know. Uh, if you want to see a particular Civ you'd like to see me play, let me know as well. and Maybe we can work some out. Maybe not. Maybe so. Just let me know. So there's going to be Let's Plays. Probably, I want to do some reviews here and there. I'm not going to... Yeah, this isn't going to be a review channel. Like, that's not... Gonna, the main thing is probably going to be Let's Plays. Uh, but I do want to do reviews Who's on there? games that I really like enjoy or, like, really thought, like, wow, that was, like, that game blew me away or was so fun, like, I got to talk about it. So maybe even less of, like, review and more just, like, you know, my thoughts on this particular game. Like, by the time I'm... All said and done with Division, I might do a review on it. So let's plays, reviews. I want to bring gaming news. I want to talk about some gaming news to the forefront. Because I like to talk about that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys will enjoy listening and maybe commenting. And I'd like to know y'all's thoughts on different things. For instance, like the whole Battlefront 2 fiasco. And I'm not going to specifically talk about that. Because I think at this point, it, everyone already knows about it. You already know about it. You have your thoughts on it. I mean, you can feel free and comment and let me know your thoughts, but when those kind of fiascos break out, I want to give my opinion on them, what I think. I'd like to interact with you guys, get you guys to know what y'all think. So, news, reviews, let's plays. It might even be reviews or me talking about technology, but 
Heck, I might do a review on coffee, as you might have seen from my name, Coffee Nut Gamer. I am a coffee nut, so. I'm not like a connoisseur of coffee or anything like that, but I do like my share of coffee. Oh, 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 oh don't get in my way. Oh, shit, they're coming. Oh, oh. JTF, they just run out in the open. <laughs> I like to play this game sort of like a support. I kind of play it. Like, if I play any type of multiplayer S games or like RPGs, I like to play, you know, that tankish, supportish type character. So, you might be able to tell I have the, the skills I have or currently using. It's like the heal skill. So, if I'm in a group, I can heal us all or just heal myself. And I use that pulse scanner. And right now, I have a mod on it that lets me uh, also see uh, loot loot boxes around the map. Go get this phone recording. All the steam rising up from the streets. Love it. It's just a, such a cool looking game. Like The setting is awesome. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep talking about that, but I think that's what helps to really draw me in. It's just the setting. Also, it kind of goes nice for this month, too, since it's Christmassy, so. Gonna jump over this fence here. See, I can see myself just sitting down right there on that little step and drinking some coffee. Young girl hey, partaking in a radio competition. Your home for the best music. Am I talking to Naomi? Yes. How old are you, Naomi? I'm nine. Well, Naomi, you um, are a next very one. lucky um, little girl um, because um, if you can answer one. one question, you're going to be a finalist Survival for a guide. chance to see the Nutcracker at the Lincoln Center. Yay! Now listen carefully. Can you tell me who wrote this song? Now it's listen carefully. Can you tell me who wrote this song? My grandma <laughs> told me that. You've got a very smart grandma, and you're a very smart girl because you're now entered to win those tickets. Keep listening, and you'll find out if you won real soon. And now that I'm thinking about it, guys, I think, What's up with you? like I said, you're going to be seeing lots of Let's Plays of this game in particular. But I think I did. Talking about Civ Rap, I kind of do want to hop on it again. It's a fun game. But I'd like to do, you know, I'd, I'd like to play how you guys would want me to play, so... I'll let you guys choose my civilization. I and mean, if this is what y'all want to see, if you want to see me play Civ Rev, comment below. Tell me what civilization you want me to be. And we will go from there. I don't know how many of you have actually played. Oh, yes, I love opening up blue jeans. Nice. More so than the actual gear equipment that gives me stats, I love the division for its like vanity clothing. I guess they call it the appearance clothing. There's just something about opening it up and you get that like teal or aqua blue. I guess it's teal. That teal light, and you know you got that light. Like I said, oh, I got that beanie or I got that jacket. Yes. Full up on that. No, but yeah, I'm not sure how many of you have played Civ Rev, but it came out on the 360, and I believe PS3, back in the day, and I have it, you know, I own it digitally on my Xbox One for backward compatibility. I had I bought it when I had the S, so that's a fun game. I've played pretty much all the Civ, well, I've played Civ 3 through Civ 6 on the PC, and obviously I play Civ Rev on the... I do like PC gaming, but I just, I don't know, you know, I, I guess it's the cliche. I work on a computer all day, and I come home, and there's just something I like about Microsoft's Xbox ecosystem. I like just booting up the console and, you know, accessing my games from the dashboard and achievements. It's, it's the ecosystem that helps draw me back to it. Come around 
one here. And no, nope, no door there. <laughs> Over the boxes, no door, no dice. Where are we going? Where are we going? Trying to get the survival guide. Up and at him. Oh, full again. I remember playing when I first played this on the PS4, going through the dark zone and all that. Uh, we're def I'm definitely going to be having some let's plays, some soul let's plays of trying to make my way through the dark zone, but I got my ass handed to me there. It's fun, though. For those of you who don't know what the dark zone is, the dark zone is basically sort of like an opt-in PvP zone. You can go in, there's going to be random other players, you can group up with them or just play next to each other without being in a group, but you can also set yourself as what they call a rogue agent, and you can go and just start killing all the other player agents in there, but then you get a bounty on your head, and then everyone's trying to kill you, yada, yada, yada. It's really fun. Checking out this little office, see what we got up in here. Full on up again. Where are we going? Yeah, that'd just be crazy. Imagine that really happened. Just the whole a city the size of New York just brought to its knees by some virus. It's not even zombies either, it's just I mean, this is kind of like what I would expect to really actually happen if a, a virus hit that bad or an outbreak hit that bad. Because let's be real, guys, there's going to be no zombies. But there would be this. It's basically like the purge mixed with the virus. Open, I bet I'm full. Yep, full. All right. Looks like we got one more in this quadrant. Another phone recording. So, as I'm wrapping this up, we're going to wrap this up after I get this phone recording. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And there's going to be more Let's Plays. Let me, I mean, let me know what you want to hear from me, too. I mean, do you just want me to ramble? Do you mind if I ramble, if I just talk about my thoughts or what, what's going on? Do you like me to commentate on the gameplay more? Like, okay, we're going around this bend, and I'm going to shoot this guy. We're going for this boss. Um, let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to hear. Because I want to bring you all the content y'all want to see. I'm jumping in this whole YouTube thing and, you know, I enjoy playing video games and I enjoy talking about video games. Speaking of which, what is going on over here and, oh, okay. Oh, Schneikey's level 10s. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh, crap. There's a yellow guy over there to the right. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, anyways, I guess we'll just leave it off with that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, comment below, let me know what you want to see. If you enjoyed this, thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see y'all next time. Thanks. Readings indicate this area is safe.